Yes, sir. I can't wait to show y'all the CPFM Cactus Plant Flea Market McDonald collab uh, accessories and clothing. I'm still waiting on the clothing. As soon as that clothing come, this right here is the Happy Meal. You can go to your local McDonald's and you might can get this. It comes with, um, it's called like an adult Happy Meal. It comes with like a 10-piece McNugget, some fries, and one of these plush dolls. And if you go to StockX right now, you can see people are selling the plush dolls already. I haven't opened mine yet. I'm going to wait till the clothing come in and we do a full review on that. But today we're here to do a full in-depth review unboxing on week five of Supreme. And um, it featured the Gremlins. If you were about my age or maybe even kids, y'all seen the Gremlins. The Gremlins is a classic movie that made week five special. Um, but before we get into that, I brought this a couple of weeks ago. It's the I Know Nego box set. Um, Nego is... Pharrell's friend, he's with the Clips and um, Pusha T in them. And the box set is dope, guys. So if you look at the box set here, it say, I know Nego. It has a dog with a duck on it. Another dog back here with some nice clouds. Nice sturdy box, guys. And um, it comes with this T. So the front of the T reads, I know Nego, and then the back has that dog with the duck on his head, and it reads, I know Nego again. I forgot that I brought this, but when I was in LA last week, I was going into them, um, you know, them stores where you could buy and sell kicks and clothing, and they had these shirts priced at $100, some were priced at buck fifty, and I was like, I got that. So I want to show you guys this, not enough for a full video, so... Just wanted to show y'all this, man. StockX has it for the low also. But here we go, guys. Week 5 of Supreme brought us the Greta T. <laughs> and again, man, this is so funny if you watch the Gremlins movie, especially this scene, super dope. My only gripe about the T is that this is the back. Even though the photo is large, it's the back. The front of the T simply says supreme as you can see there little small supreme logo there but the back has the greta large i wish they would have reversed it or at least found the way to put supreme and greta on the front but the t is super dope man this one here is a medium i'm true to size medium in supreme tees um they fit true to size. None of them are like usually droopy. None of them are muscle fit neither. So it's like kind of a just right fit. But this is the Black Greta Supreme Tee. Same tee, different colorway. This is the Greta Tee again in the Cardinal colorway. So when you think of Cardinal, you know, you think of like a burgundy, a burnt, a burnt dark red. And um, as you can see there, it says Greta Tee. And... Yeah, this is a medium also. I was trying to see if the price was on here. But if I remember correctly, I think I paid $48 plus the $10 shipping. So, yeah, maybe $58 or maybe $38. But nowhere past $60, guys. So, again, on the front, you got that Supreme logo in the white colorway. And you turn it around. <laughs> There's Greta again, guys. It's a dope tee, man. Again, I just wish the logo was, I mean, the graphic was on the front. But it's a dope tee, guys. Probably one of my favorite Supreme stickers, man. <laughs> and here go the t-shirt. So this t-shirt is called the Maud t-shirt. I didn't look up Maud, but it sounds model-esque, woman-esque. This is a dusty blue colorway. One of my favorite colorways. Open this up. This, I think, was the same price as the um, Greta T. Same material. The colorway is just was super dope on this one, man. And here go the Maud T from Week 5 of Supreme. As a woman laying down, a voluptuous woman laying down in her underwear, 
Um, I guess what else do we see? Yeah, her dress is just raised up a little bit. That's not a cover. With the Supreme Box logo under her leg. As you can see there. And the reason why this colorway is like my favorite is because it's like a it's like a sky blue mixed with like a pale blue. You know what I mean? It matches these perfectly. What was these? Hyper Royal, Super Hyper Royal, Hype Royal. Y'all yeah, remember the controversy behind this sneaker. But either way, the match is perfect, guys. Nothing's on the back of the T. So you just have that um dusty blue color they calling it with the gray from the dress, red box supreme logo. Dope. And you know we got to do things twice here. This right here is the same Mar T but in a black colorway. <clears throat> and um and this one the underwear looks pinkish. It might have looked pink on the blue too. But the black brings out the graphic a lot better, in my opinion. That white and silver really shines and pops out more on the black colorway. But I don't know. This black colorway material feels better. But same Marty, same size, medium. But this is the black colorway, guys. Let me know if y'all like the, the blue or the black better. I thought I liked the blue better, but this black is tough, man. And the cap off the fall tees for Supreme Week 5. Is the Gons Portrait Tee. And they say this color is Magenta. But, uh, okay, yeah. It does look a little more shinier than the Cardinal. So I'll go with it. But I was about to say, it looks just like the Cardinal to me. But yeah, the Magenta, it is a little more purplish. So I'm not really sure what's going on in this tee. I just thought it was a dope tee. And it was busy. So on the front... I guess this is a Gons, right? You're calling it the Gons tee. <laughs> but you have a portrait there of a bald-headed guy, right? Denary Supreme in a dope font. I think we've seen this font before, but this one is dope. And then you got some lips at the bottom. So let me look on the picture. Okay, on the picture, his lips are white. On the bottom, the lips are red. I was going to say maybe those his lips, like he didn't have a mouth. But that's not the case. What I like about this tee, though, the back even has a graphic where it reads Team Supreme in a dope decal. Harley Davidson looked decal, in my opinion. As y'all can see there. So you got the Team Supreme on the back. Supreme logo on the front of the shirt on the side. And then the portrait and some lips. They really did good with this Greta tee, man. <laughs> so um, that was the week five fall tee supreme. Um, they also had hockey jerseys with Greta on it. My gripe is Gizmo was like one of the most popular. He has to be the most popular gremlin. They could have did more with Gizmo, I feel like. Um, kind of mad about that. But right here is the sellout times for week five so as you can see there like i showed y'all the hockey tee um that's that's super quick and with supreme it's kind of it's getting harder to buy so that's super quick for number one there but right there you see the hockey tee um the greta tees up there and a couple of other stuff i really didn't like nothing that was non-gremlin in that week five let me know what y'all cop for week five besides just the gremlin joints i mean that supreme outfit was dope in my opinion i just feel like it was way too busy but i liked it i like the parker style mask thing but that's just not my style i don't wear that but week six the supreme i don't even know if it's north face it's north face look but it has not been confirmed as a north face collab that coat and that 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 sweater or jean Bottom, super dope. I'm going for the red bandana one. And I'm kind of pushing it because right now it's 40 minutes before um, it drops. So I got to hurry up and get to that. But that's my number one choice for week six. It will have to be the red or the blue because I like that paisley looking material. The, the plain colors is dope. But those top two is what I'm going for. Um, but yeah, man.
Drop a um like for this for the video, man. Please hit subscribe. I got the cactus plant joint coming up. I brought mad clothes, guys. We we got a whole haul coming. So um hit that notification bell. I'm your boy Sneaker Notes. Thanks for watching. Everybody, get rich.